Sì. I am taking Marcello into town. Mm. To see Machiavelli's play. Ezio, his play closed three weeks ago. I missed it. We are visiting your sister. Keep an eye on Flavia, okay? Sì, si, of course. We will be back soon. Ciao, amore mio. A più tardi. Be safe. Flavia, tesoro. Stay where I can see you. Gentile, papà. Go inside, Flavia. I do not know what else to say. I am sorry. I do not want any part of this. I want to understand. Understand what? How to lead, to rebuild my order. No, for me that is over. Benito. Now I think you should go. Ezio, she has come a long way. Xiao Yun, did I say that right? Um, would you stay for supper? Grazie. <laughs> Good, we have a spare bedroom. You're welcome to stay a few nights. behind me. I started this act of my life so late, Sophia. I knew I would not have enough time to do everything. Now I worry I do not have enough time to do anything. Get out! The wind! It opens the door! Fuori!
Kato Ibuchi. I was wrong. See, I think you need to go. My name is Ezio Alditore. When I was a young man, I had liberty, but I did not see it. I had time, but I did not know it. And I had love, but I did not feel it. It would be 30 long years before I understood the meaning of all three. I want to understand, like you do, to help my people. I was an assassin for a long time, Yun. And I know that at any moment, someone could come for me, or my family. Do you see? This is why I must be careful. I usually hire people to help me with Vendange, the grape harvest, but... Indra, let us get something to eat. lucky of these last three seasons. This way, I want to show you something. It is nice, no? Piena di vita. Half my family was murdered in this piazza, right there, 45 years ago. But now, I see it like this, so full of life. I cannot help but feel content and satisfied that so much pain has faded away. The life of an assassin is pain, you. You suffer it, you inflict it. You watch it happen, with the hope that you can help it disappear in time. Terrible irony. Yeah. But there you go. All right. I'm to drag this old man back to his villa. My mentors wish to meet you. We left China together, in secret, with these men. They caught him in Venezia. Who are they? Servants of the Emperor Jia Jing. I was born a concubine, but my mentor freed me when I was young. We returned later to save more girls, but they were... The Emperor is a cruel man. He prefers Ling Chi to beheading. Ling Chi. Slow process. Many thousand cuts. Then dead. Huh. 
Pack some bags. You must stay at Machiavelli's tonight. What happened? A misunderstanding. Give me just a moment. For the Borgia, revenge drove me forward, and my first impulse was to aim for the head. In time, however, I learned that those who inspire fear have more devoted followers than those who preach love. Killing Rodrigo and Cesare would have accomplished nothing without some equal measure of fraternity. So I spent many years teaching men and women to think and act for themselves. First in Roma, then Constantinople. Love binds our order together. Love of people, of cultures, of the world. Fight to preserve that which inspires hope, and you will win back your people. It will take a long time. A long time. If you do it right, see. Get some rest. It's a long way home, no? Much to see along the way. Thank you, Mentor. 
Here. This may be of use one day. No. Only if you lose your way. You should go. We'll be back just after dark. <laughs> you should have stayed home. I am home. We will be right over here. Al diavolo! I hate this damn city. I wish I was in Rome. I hear the women there are... Hmm... Like ripe Sangiovese on the vine, you know? Not like here, Firenze. <laughs> I don't think Firenze is your problem. Get some rest, I was a young man. I had liberty, but I did not see it. I had time, but I did not know it. And I had love, but I did not feel it. Many decades would pass before I understood the meaning of all three. And now, in the twilight of my life, this understanding has passed into containment. Love. Liberty and time, once so disposable, are the fuels that drive me forward. And love, most especially, mio caro. For you, our children, our brothers and sisters, and for the vast and wonderful world that gave us life and keeps us guessing. Endless affection. Sofia, forever yours, Ezio Auditore.
Hey everyone, thanks for watching this episode, and as usual, leave a comment down below, subscribe to more video updates, and share this on your Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and all the, all the social medias, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and to turn on the notification bell to stay up to date on my YouTube channel. And if you guys want to help me out in some shape or form, I do have a Patreon account down below in the description box. And as usual, thank you for watching everybody, and have a pleasant day. Bye-bye.